All right, so let's take a look at virtual machines, also known as VMs, compared to containers, because the idea behind Kubernetes and cloud native stuff is that uh, there are virtual machines involved, but you're generally working uh, with containers, not virtual machines. So the idea is that we'll have a virtual machine and the example says EC2 instance, that is just Amazon's name for virtual machines. So just think virtual machine there. And so a virtual machine will have a host operating system installed on it, could be Windows, uh, could be Linux. And then on top of that, it's gonna have a hypervisor. And that hypervisor is what allows you to run a virtual machine on a real physical machine. And so the virtual machine uh, has its own guest operating system, which is here, and that is Ubuntu as the example. And that's where you can install libraries, packages, binaries. Then from there, you'd have your workload. Like let's say you have a Django app, you have your database, you have your queuing. Uh, and so the thing with VMs uh, uh, is that they're great because they allow you to run multiple uh, workloads on a single machine. So you are best utilizing uh, that physical machine to the best of its ability. But the problem with virtual machines is that there's still gonna be wasted space because you have to um, you know, provision a virtual machine to be a particular size. And so that's where you're always gonna be over provisioned. And wouldn't it be really nice if you know this part, if we we're only just paying for this much and anything that was not being utilized would not cost us anything or could be used, like something would be slotted in there. And so that's where um, containers come into play. So containers are very similar uh, initially. So you ha they run on a virtual machine. It has a host operating system like Linux or Windows. And then it has what we call a container runtime. Now I have Docker daemon because Docker uh, is a very popular uh, container runtime. Um, it, so it could be like container D now, I suppose. Uh, but the idea is you have a container runtime. And so each container would have its own uh, guest operating system that would run on. And then in that uh, container would be it, the workload. So the Django app with its own libraries and stuff. And then each container is extremely isolate. And so the advantage here uh, about having these like isolate workloads is that, you know, you are best utilizing the space on the physical machine. And the other thing is, is that you get isolation. So when you're looking at this virtual machine over here, if the Django app does something to consume more resources, um, it could take away from MongoDB or RabbitMQ where these ones, you can just say, okay, you're only allowed to use X amount of space. And so conceptually, um, instead of thinking of this additional space as wasted, it's available because if you were to use something like Amazon uh, ECS Elastic Container Service, that space would be able to be used by another customer, right? Where when you launch a virtual machine, you're always over provisioning. So virtual machines do not make the best use of space. Apps are not isolated, which could cause config conflicts, security problems, resource hogging. Containers allow you to run multiple apps, which are virtually isolated from each other. Launch new containers, configure OS dependencies per container. There you go. Oh, and by the way, just think container runtime here. So I just kind of patched that graphic there for you.